Okay, so tell me, uh, what got you guys so giddy? What did you uh, just figure out now? All right, so we have a going dark problem. Just like the NSA had a going dark problem when more and more of the web traffic was getting encrypted, it meant that they couldn't investigate the messaging sent back and forth, potentially by terrorists. So this whole going dark problem is now affecting us as DNS firewall administrators. So the good guys. The good guys, exactly. So let me quickly explain to you how that is the case. So if we look at DNS, it was traditionally in clear text. So when something is in clear text, the good guys could say, hey, we're going to investigate every single DNS questions you ask. When you say, where's Google.com? We're going to investigate it and make sure that it's allowed and therefore give you the answer or not. It also ran on a standard port 53. So what we're able to do is if someone wanted to use a non-sanctioned DNS server on the internet, uh, we could just block port 53. And that would force them to use our DNS firewall inside the network. That was very cool. We could do good things with that. But along came this DNS over HTTPS protocol, which Cloudflare was the first to launch in a big way, except that the key difference to note here is that it is encrypted. So now, when you say, where's Google.com, even the question of where Google is is now encrypted, and it can run on a standard port 443. So comparatively here, where we can inspect the question and block it or not, now it's encrypted, so it's like it's a bonded carrier that cannot open the seal to have the question revealed, and it's running on a port that most of the web runs on, so we can't block 443, we can't inspect. So what's a good DNS firewall administrator to do when you can't detect it and you can't block it? But we do have a solution, and that solution is what we're giddy about. And it's just called, uh, we call it don't talk to strangers, meaning that any IP address that wasn't resolved by our DNS firewall is a stranger. So don't talk to strangers. So what I have here is a very simple setup. I have a prosumer Asus router using a fiber internet connection. And over its LAN port, I'm connected over to my computer over here. And I have that as my main and only internet connection. So that's my 192.168.11 IPv4 network that I'm running right here. So nothing complicated except all my traffic forcefully goes through this router running our firmware with this feature called Don't Talk to Strangers. Over here in this terminal window, I'm actually running the Cloudflare proxy server, which allows this computer to ask Cloudflare directly. And over here, I'm showing every DNS query that's being processed by this DNS firewall and its short-term allow rules. So for example, if I say, uh, where is google.com? It's going to give me an IP address, an ends in .238. And over here, I now have, I see that our IP enforcement, our don't talk to strangers, gives us access to Google for 300 seconds because Google gave us a 300 second time to live. So this computer, this 192.168.11.145, my computer is allowed to go to Google for 300 seconds. So that's in effect how don't talk to strangers works. Now let's see how that works if we're trying to do a, a DNS query to circumvent the firewall. So we're gonna use this uh, Cloudflare proxy by asking my uh, local host, right? So that's the guy that's proxying through Cloudflare. Where is badactor.co? And let's see what it says. Ah, look at that. We were able to walk right around the firewall and get a, an answer from Cloudflare. But what happens if I try to connect to it now? If I try to curl to that IP address right there, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, connection refused. So I just demonstrated to you that DNS can be used to circumvent a firewall, but then when you try to go to it, it doesn't work. In real life on a browser, if you went to badactor.co, you would get a nice blog page. Say, so, no, you can't go there. So even though my DNS proxy allows me to circumvent the DNS queries because the DNS wasn't asked by 
uh, or of our local firewall, we're not allowed to go to that destination. But if I were to ask badactor.co uh, to my uh, default firewall, that's what's actually giving me the block page. So in short, if I ask Cloudflare, I can circumvent DNS, but I still can't go there. Hmm. So what you've just witnessed is um, how Don't Talk to Strangers solves the issue for well-meaning sysadmins that otherwise have a going dark problem. We have a very good mitigation tool.